I am Rob Chapman here at Toman, the home of Tone in Europe. And today, we're going to be taking a look at some Nags guitars. Now, I've played one Nags in my past about nine years ago at World Instruments in Hutchin. And I literally have no memory. I think I remember it being a good guitar, but that's about it. What do I know about Nags? Joe Nags launched Nags guitars years ago. He's a highly renowned and highly skilled luthier. And he was one of the guys that worked at PRS guitars doing design work. So I thought it might be cool to kind of go shopping for really high-end Nags guitars, really high-end PRS guitars, and then kind of duel them against each other in a non-competitive fun format. I'll take one of each and then see when I run down the spec and play each one, which I prefer. Follow me. This is, this is Nick, my new best friend, because he's got Star Wars tattoos down his foot. He's cut himself for the force, which I think is to be highly commended. So, it's time to pick a Nags and a PRS. Now, in the very nature of being me, I've already taken a look and gone, oh uh, yeah, I really like that one. So, so I have to try and set that part of my brain aside and, uh, and just gaze casually until one pops out or maybe two pop out and I uh, can't help myself, it's just the same one. So it's this, which apparently is a Kenai. And this guitar retails for a meager 2,798 Imperial credits of the realm. Um, I really like the stripped back, beautiful, looks like Swamp Ash, looks like mahogany, looks like, uh, oh, looks like rosewood. So we're gonna find out when I, when I learn the spec. It's important to know what I'm talking about currently. I don't. So this is my, my initial choice for the nags. This looks a little bit more like something that is imitating a Lester Pablo, Les Paul. Um, and it looks like it might be a signature model, but I'm not afraid of a signature model. It is the Steve Stevens signature model for 3,499 German ingots of joy. And <laughs> it, is, it is a beautiful looking guitar. It looks like a flamey maple cap that's been carved and a mahogany body and a mahogany neck. And I've got to learn the spec, but I'm liking the look of this too. I'm gonna to reserve judgment on the nags until I've picked my PRS guitars. I don't want to wait for my life to be over again. This particular Paul Reed Smith caught my eye because, bing, look at that. All of that going on. There's a lot of junk in the trunk on this one. Um, it has a couple of little switches that do things. Probably one of them splits and one of them splits the other one. It's a Paul's guitar. It's a Paul's guitar, apparently. I'm reliably informed by Rabia Massad who owns a Paul's guitar. This one is a meager 3,998 euros and looks like it's got a beautiful flamed maple top cap. Looks like a rosewood fingerboard, mahogany, oh, mahogany neck. And this looks like either a different species of mahogany or it could be a different timber all together. We will find out if I choose this particular Paul Reed Smith guitar. Mmm, McCarty 594. Named because there are 594 different configurations of the pickups. If you didn't know that, you're welcome for this extra slice of knowledge pie. So this is, that was a complete lie, I'm sorry. Uh, beautifully made, absolutely stunning guitar for a tiny amount of money, 3,699 money things of your local country. Again, flying maple top. Mahogany neck and body. Somebody has just fallen down the stairs. I'm gonna go and see if I can help them. Well, he's gonna be completely fine, I think. He fell going up the steps, which is uh, no mean feat, especially because he was about seven and a half foot tall and had a long, long way to fall down. Uh, we've just got them some tea and they'll be just fine. Uh, everyone at Toman has looked after, even if they fall up the steps. So. Uh, flamed maple top. Look at these beautiful brass bits here on the saddles and on the little stop tail. And then, yeah, mahogany neck, mahogany body. It's a beautiful looking guitar. Which one am I going to pick? Oh, yeah, look at the pickups too. Oh, man. 
I know that they're nice. In my mind place, I have already made the decision. I wonder if you have made the same decision as me. The Nags guitar I am choosing is this one. And the Paul Reed Smith guitar that I'm using is not Rabia Massard's. Yes, it is. It's exactly the same because I think it just looks really nice. And I know this will be a tonal giant and this will attempt to rival it. Let's see what happens back in the studio. Bing! As ever, you are hearing the sound of our microphones, currently with a bad cat amplifier, going into the Apollo X8P via Logique and the brainy know-how of Rabia Massad. I'm currently experiencing a hot sweat because this Nags Kenai is absolutely stunning. It is, as I thought, made from ash, and then mahogany, and then rosewood. It does say on the website that it's rosewood only in the US, but I'm in Germany, that looks like rosewood to me. <laughs> I'm really enjoying their proprietary stop tail and combined um, bridge. The bridge screws into the stop tail. I just feel like it's gonna make both of them resonate at exactly the same time. And I don't know why, but something about me really likes the way that that's been designed, its attention to detail. These pickups are Seymour Duncan SH1 humbuckers. They are powerful, and you're all going to know about Seymour Duncan humbuckers. They're really reliable, really well made. Um, this is a bone nut. And something, if you ever want to have a really quick, simple way of judging a guitar, and I don't think you should always judge a guitar by one asset, but... A lot of people do this on the frets, but they seldom do this on the nut. If you want to see whether a luthier has made a, nut, uh, made a guitar really well, take your finger from the edge of the fretboard and bring it to the nut, and you'll barely feel any difference because they will have perfectly sized the nut to fit on the board, and that is the instance here. I'm really liking the little attention to detail with the wood on the truss board cover. Truss board cover? Truss rod cover. And also, how nice are these open gear looking tuners from Goto? Love it. normally a fan of green, but in this instance, uh, I will just say that I think this is one of the nicest looking greens possible. And I don't know whether it makes a difference, but to the colour, that is, but this is also finished in nitrocellulose, um, which is a particularly difficult lacquer to apply. It takes long, long time to apply many, many, many coats, and um, it's a really high-end way of, of making a guitar look good. Plays really well, feels great in the hand, it feels really resonant, and this is a guitar that I would absolutely love to add to my collection. It's the Kenai by Nags. Bing! <laughs> This 
is a Paul Reed Smith Paul's guitar, adorned with beautiful brush stroke inlays. It is a work of art in wooden form. You would be forgiven for wanting to hang this in a frame in your living room and look at it for a long time. Uh, it feels as good as it looks. Um, it has beautiful timbers with the mahogany and the rosewood and the Canadian flamed maple. Packed full of PRS 408 humbucking goodness and you can tap them down with these little tiny switches which according to my friend Rabir Massad doesn't allow them to drop in volume even though they are tapped slash split. Choose the method you think it probably is and say it in the comment section below. Three-way toggle, tone and a volume. The classic PRS uh, floating bridge. Of course, you can always sink it down if you want to. And if you look behind, you'll notice that this is made of good old brass. So it's going to sing for a long time. This guitar feels incredible to play. It's got a load of low end um, that I wasn't expecting in relation to the nags. And I have to say, in reflection, when playing both of these guitars, I think they're both really, really, really awesome. If I was gonna take one and walk away with it right now, it would be the PRS. I think, however, that might just be because I am more used to playing a PRS. I, I, I do love you too, I'm sorry. It's just that I've spent more time with this one. So it doesn't mean that I'm not interested, all right? I just, this is what I'm used to. Sorry, I'm having a small conversation with the nags. I've been Rob Chapman for Toman, the heart of tone in Europe, and I shall see you later. Which one did you prefer? Bye. Thank <laughs> you.